Well, another inmate has died while in the custody of the Fulton County Sheriff's Office. The latest death happening over the weekend, and this actually marks the fourth death at the jail in the last month, and at least the eighth person in Fulton County Sheriff's Office custody to die in the past year. So this detainee was 34 years old. He was locked up for eight months on an arson charge, still waiting for an indictment. And we aren't naming him right now, but Fulton County officials are still trying to notify his family. He died Saturday, according to the sheriff's office, just days after federal court records show he filed a civil rights complaint. He said deputies kicked him in the head, stomped on his hands while he was in handcuffs and pepper sprayed him. He said other inmates bullied, bit and attacked him. The detainee never posted bond and his attorney tried to get that bond reduced earlier this month. We spoke to defense attorney Meg Strickler, who says the system is failing these individuals. This is the one that makes me the most sad because he was detained prior to anything happening because he couldn't afford to bail out. And that's that two tiered system that just kills me. And the majority of them are people who can't afford bond. Remember, these people aren't found guilty yet. So the sheriff's office did not directly respond to the detainee's complaint, saying it was researching whether one had been filed. This all comes as the jail is under the microscope of the Department of Justice, which launched an investigation into the conditions at the facility in July.